Okay, so good morning. One. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello. Good morning. Morning, sir. So, Rick, morag na dugay ko no kay morag so morag liso liso yung signal. So pasinsya na yun kay morag na dugay ta. Okay, so let's start since morag na uwahin na tano kama yung tag time. Tama nata sa ten thirty. Makakuan, tara na kami, maka... Okay, kindly open your camera first for documentation. Okay, thank you. So, may I ask Mr. Frederick to lead the opening prayer? Okay, sir. Now, let's put our special to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. The kingdom come, they will be done, and earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you, Mr. Frederick. So for your attendance, I think we have a complete attendance today, no? Since lima ramo mo kabuo, na wala kisa no ni na out siguro to kasi na wala pa ng yung signal. So before we go to the next topic, no, a short review for the previous topic that we tackle. Okay, who can give me a a short review? Sir. Yes, Mr. Aramis. The last topic that we tackle is all about components of CCTV, which are Switchers and multiplexers and the video recorders, sir. So last meeting, no? So we we discussed about the CCTV components, which is the uh, which are the switchers and multiplexers, and also the video recorders, no? So in a class more than more than I that has more camera compared to the monitor and the video recorder. So we will use a uh, switchers and multiplexers to to route the video signals, no, coming from the different CCTV to route that to the to the monitor. Kung makapilit kung kami atong display sa ato ang monitor. So ang kalahian sa switchers and sa multiplexers is the switchers can only display only one one a uh, video of the camera no one video signal of the camera and the more display more video no? for example nine 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 camera yang i display sa sa kaning sa ato ang monitor no through grid or yeah uh, through dividing the the layer no the, through dividing the screen of the monitor no so so since we are done uh, discussing the different CCTV components, no? So, let us proceed to our next topic, which is the uh, later my screen. Okay, makita ra ba ang ato ang screen? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, klaro mong kahaka, no? So, sige. So, since we are done no, discussing the different CCTV components, no? So, today, we are going to discuss the... 
uh, the transmission, no, the transmission of data, how uh, how the transmission of data works, no. So what are the ways of transmitting the data from the from the camera, the video recorder, or to, to the decoder, to the uh, display or the or the monitor so, transmission. Before that, uh, it us read our learning of speed. No? So, okay. So at the end of the lesson, students are expected to know the advantages and disadvantages of using the different wireless and wired transmission in this system. Find a picture of the two types of keyboard used for CCTV transmission. Appreciate the importance of knowing the different CCTV transmission. Are you ready for lesson class? Are you ready for the lesson? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Kindly please listen, uh, participate, and reflect. Okay. Uh, kindly read your... Kuya, uh, ito si Ridundo? O Ridundo? I think it's Ridundo. Pwede mo tapos mga kung ano nila. Okay, Jandri. Okay, Introduction. Introduction. Transmitting a strong video signal with low noise is vital to producing a high quality image on the monitor. Many problems associated with the quality of a CCTV system signal are attributable to the transmission system. Okay, so what have you understand? Can I, sir? Can I? Can I answer, sir? Okay. Okay. Frederick, sir. I understand that we have a good, enhanced, and high quality image footage on the monitor. It needs to have a strong signal and noise reduction during transmission because signal and noise during transmission are the major factors that could strongly affect the quality of the footage taken by the CCTV system. The strong signal with the low voice or much better quality will be provided after and being transmitted. That's also. Okay, so thank you. No, so. In uh, if you are going no if you are going to install a CCTV system class no so you should consider you no know, quality of the image of the on the monitor why it is because there is a possibility that if there is a crime no if there is a crime and uh, there is a possibility that you can't recognize no the person being captured by that CCTV camera no you can't recognize because of the quality no it your 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 look of uh, the image no CCTV system so that is why it is very important no it is very important to to have a high quality image of your CCTV system and one no one uh, cause of the problems of, of your CCTV system. That is why we need to know. No, we need to know the different the different transmission of the CCTV system. Okay, next slide. So in CCTV system, there are three ways of getting a video signal. First is The wired transmission, second, the wireless transmission, and the third is IP network transmission. So there are factors that should be considered in choosing the types of CCTV transmission systems. So katung tulo, no? There are factors that we should consider in choosing those three types of transmission system. First is 
Okay, the distance between a camera to a storage system. So what do we need? No, so we do we need to consider the distance between a camera, monitor, and a storage system. So answer, anong for me, sir, we need to consider the distance, sir, so that the quality of the video will not be affected, sir. Okay. Yes. To... No. So. Okay, yes, miss. Uh, yes. Okay. So it is very important no, to consider no in choosing the type of the CCTV system. No, it is very important to consider the distance between the monitor and a storage system, no, to to have a good quality of the of the of the CCTV system. No, so for example kanang if if the if the distance is too long na if the distance is too long, to use the the wireless transmission no compared to the wired transmission since since the longer the wire no so, since the longer the wire the the cost no the cost of the kanang imong budget no ma, ma, mahal ra kayo tungod kay taas kayo ang wire nga magamit and also the longer the wire the stronger the resistance of the wire so that is why the the data no the electrical signal if we use the if we use the the wire transmission the electrical signals which is the data is decreasing no so we need a repair or uh, um, an amplifier to the signal to boost no the, the signal para makaabot siya sa ato ang monitor that is why it is very important to to uh, consider distance no so second the installation no, of course, if if gamay ra ka o budget, no, dili ka ka-afford sa kanang mga mahalon, mga fiber optics, so kanang kasagaray ka ron, no, mga fiber optics na kusog kayo ang data. So, o dili ka ka-afford na, so adto na lang ka sa kanang mga barato-barato nga kanang kuan gihapon, kanang nice good gihapon siya og quality, no? Magdepende pa sa kusog ko nang pabayad di ba imo ang mabayad nimo sa kanang mga technician, no? Kung 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 magpakuan ka kung magpataod gag imong kagulingon, no? Okay, next is the existing infrastructure. So we should consider existing infrastructure. Kanang purma sa imo ang kanang house, sa imo ang buildings, no? Or imo ang establishment, ka imo ang butangan, sa imo ang CCTV systems. Yes, we should also consider that. For example, if you want to, if you want to, to put a a CCTV camera outside, no, outdoor, outside in your house or the buildings, and your uh, your display or monitor is in the inside of the buildings. So you you uh, you can or you can use the 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 wired transmission. No, since since the wireless transmission. No, if you are going to use the, for example, the the laser transmission. No. So uh, anyway mo abot ra kada naon guys kana mga different guys transmission. So if you are going the laser can light of this or cannot penetrate the wall. So it's, it's impossible no it's past that kind of uh transmission. So you should use the wire transmission no since wire transmission for the money palo wire sa mga sa kuan may mga bintana or one pa nang put so existing infrastructure next is the availab availability of power so why do we need to to consider the availability of power no in in choosing the types of cctv transmission system oh, Okay, that. Maklaro ba ang sir? Yes, maklaro na dong. Um, in my own opinion, sir, considering the availability of power is very important, especially in the in choosing the type of CCTV transmission system to avoid trouble during the operation time. Because for me, if you don't consider the availability availability power, there was a tendency that the operation will not never be 
isaks speed. That's why installer and user should use a high quality CTB power supply box to ensure that stability and reliability system, image distance flickering, and even security camera hardware damage can all be caused by poor power supply. That's all for me, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your ideas. No, so so the availability of power. No, we should also consider the availability of power. No, so for example, if you are going to to a city outside, outside and 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 there are no uh, convenient out near the security the city camera. There are different of camera class. There are cameras that need uh, that has uh, that has their own uh, plug uh, to to plug into the convenience outlet, you know, if no ability at the uh, convenience outlet near the near the camera that that you mount, you no. Know? So you can use the the P or power that you don't need to you need to plug it into the convenience outlet. But through the POE, you no, know, it can supply the CCT the CCTV camera. You no, know? you can use the IP network transmission using power the net. You no, know? so availability of power. Okay. So next time. Okay, so this is the first no classification of the transmission. First is the wired transmission. So wired CCTV systems use cables to connect cameras to other CCTV components. Wired transmission can provide a good quality video images with fewer instances of interference because cables are shielded. So it is the same as the internet connection as no. The vision is is uh it is better to use compared to the wireless transmission, no? Since it is directly connected to the uh, from the from the from the the modem, no? If if we are going about uh, if we are to talk about internet, no? Uh, it is that the modem is directly connected to the monitor, so it is the same as the. CCTV system. The camera no is direct, directly connected to the monitor or to the decoder. No, so that is why it can provide a good quality video. No, to the wireless mission. No, okay. Next slide. So types of wired CCTV systems are commonly used today. So these are the types no of the CCTV system transmission that are commonly used today, but it doesn't mean that it, there are only three, no? So there are many types, no? There are many types, but we only we only discuss today the most common, no? The most common. So first is the coaxial cable, UTP cables, and lastly the fiber optic cables. Coaxial cable. So it is the most common method of transmitting video signals from the camera to the monitor or other CCTV components. So even in our television class, kung makabantay mo sa likod sa inyo ang TV, no, the coaxial cable is is used, no, in the in the television kanang connected sa inyo ang RF tuner, no. So mo na sa ika, kabantay mo na ng inang inyo ang antena sa inyo sa TV, mo na sa masa coaxial cable next so coaxial cable consists of a single wire surrounded by first by a non conductive insulating layer or dielectric then by a braided wire shield and finally a plastic or rubber covering so direct distance a uh, direct run distances of up to 2000 feet can be achieved so as taas po no so depending on the gauge of the cable cable runs across greater distances are possible although this requires the use of amplifiers inserted in the line no so if you are going to to use this coaxial cable more than 2000 feet no more than 2000 feet then you can use amplifiers or kan gitawag na to of repeaters or booster no since the longer the wire no just as the, just as uh, what i said 
earlier, no, the, the longer the war, the stronger the resistance of the war. That is why electrical signals, no, which is the data, no, is decreasing, no, is decreasing. That is why we need to use amplifier to boost, no, to boost the signal, no, to boost the signal and so that it can reach your decoder, your video recorder, and your monitor. So poor quality cable can have a negative impact on reliability and image quality. As transmission through coaxial cable is electrical, it is susceptible to radio frequency interference or RFI and EMR or electromagnetic interference. So as what you see on the on the on the uh, screen class, so this is an example. No? This is an example of the coaxial cable. So I think nakita na muna ni sa inyo ang mga if sa inyo ang Wi-Fi kanang yung mga globe at home or sa pan yung mga Wi-Fi na ani siya kaning coaxial cable nga mo gigamit connected sa inyo ang antenna no so sa inyong TV mo sa di siya gigamit no okay it is written here that as as, as transmission through coaxial cable is electrical it is susceptible to frequency interference or i I and EMI. So what is radio frequency interference? No, nanong makaapek to manisya. So the the example of RFI, no, is the the signal coming from the other station or mga television television station or kanang radio station, no. For example, kanang mga ABCBN, kanang ilang radio wave, no. Kakita naman si Aikahe ba o masigmur masigmur mo na yung gitawag na to radio wave, no. Sa kanang Kamera, no? Kamera coming from the station, no? Ilan ng i the electrical signals, no? Coming from the station is converted, no? It is converted into a my into a ah kaning radio wave, no? It is record recording into radio wave, and the antenna the antenna of your television, no? The antenna of your television, eh ah. Capture it and your RF tuner convert it into video and sound sounds. No, so it is the same as the CCTV system. No, ingat to Japan ang purma. Then, ganong makapik to manasya sa ato ang signal. No, ganong makakos manasya frequency interference because your because your your cable, no, the coaxial cable is made up of copper. No, it is it is made up of copper and copper is a conductor. So since it is a conductor. The 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 radio wave no coming from the other station will uh the 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 coaxial cable will uh adapt no it will adapt the radio frequency from other station that's why it that that's why it can cause interference to your to the video signals of your uh CCTV system no maka destroy siya maka daot so it can uh it can affect the quality, no, the quality of your uh, image in your monitor. So, radio frequency interference, interference, and also the EMI. Unsa man puring EMI? Electromagnetic interference. So, unsa man ning electromagnetic, no? So, if if there is a charge, no, coming from a uh, moving along the conductor, no, kanang current, no, kay bawa naman siguro na since electrical mo kay bawa naman eh, no? If na ay current mo Agi danang 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 wire class, no? It can create, no? It can create an electromagnetic field, no? Electromagnetic field. So that is why, alam mo na siya glingin, no? Nasisay, maglingin lingin na siya, magcircle circle, magnasot circle of north pole. So that is why, if you, if your your cable, no? If your cable, if your cable is is near a wire, no? That has an electrical current. So the magnetic field from the other wire, wire can interfere. No, it can interfere the electrical signal coming from your coaxial cable. No, so so that is why coaxial cable is prone to frequency interference, real frequency interference, and also electromagnetic interference. It is also possible for an authorized person to acquire the video signal either through these emissions or by tapping directly into the cable. The cable. So no, so your 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 data, no, if you are going to use coaxial cable, is also not safe. No, so why? Because you, the other people, no, if there are criminals, no, they can tap, no, they can connect it parallel, no, in a, in a parallel connection. So 
computer uh, to actual keyboard since it is made of wire so they can they can just uh, uh, splice it no and connect it to the to the to the to their monitor no so that is why it is not safe no it has not 100% safe use this uh, coaxial cable next is the utp wire or what we call the uh, unshielded twist, twisted pair so kailan na mo na yung utp sa inyo ang ict sa una uh, kakita na mo na yung utp Hello. Hey, hello class, are you still with me? Hello. Nama tu aku masih kurang ingat apa tu. Okay, so UTP, no, or unshield. Okay. Yang sana sah. Warden. Wala pa ba kita sir? Ah, wala po ka nga dev sa inyong ICT sa una, sa kanil exploratory or sa grade 9 or grade 10 ninyo. Okay, it's okay. Okay, let's proceed. No? So, unshielded twisted pair. So, this is this is an example, no, of kanang unshielded twisted pair. So, there are eight wires, no? Eight wires sa sulod sa kanang koan, ilang insulator, no? And, and... Kanang kanang eight wires is gi gi pairs na sila no. It is twisted by pairs no. So kita mo na nyo na puna checker coded no. White orange orange na or white green green white blue blue white brown brown no. So mo na siya gigamit sa kasagari sa kanang networking no. Sa inyo ang sa inyo ang kaning ay kaning kung mag networking ka tasa kanang mga kanang mga PC no. Either either crossover or straight So since wala mo ka kuan sa inyo ay sige na dili mo ka relate. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, it is known as UTP. This is currently the most common and basic mid method of cable construction. Constructors twist together, no? Gi gi twist sila kanang pair sa kanang mga wires. Uh, there is no shielding instead of the symmetrical twist in the wire create a balance transmission line helping to reduce electrical noise and AMI. Okay, benefits of twisted pair transmission. So, also my benefits show if we are going to use the UTP or the twisted pair transmission. So, first is fast and easy wire installation. UTP cable is either and more flexible than coaxial cable and thus easier to lay out and handle. The effort needed to install decreases as more cameras to be installed increases. Increases, no? It is fast, no? If we are going to use this in 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 CCTV installation, no? It is fast and easy and easy to install, no? Since it is thinner and it is more flexible flexible compared to the coaxial cable no it can bend easily compared to the co coaxial cable since it is made up of kanang stranded no stranded eight eight kanang wire no so uh, effort needed to install the crisis as more cameras to be installed increases nga man because in utp if you are, if you are going to use UT, utp cable class uh, we can use a hub no a hub we can connect all the the cable from the camera to a hub and the and only only single cable from the hub to your uh, decoder or to your monitor no or to your uh, video recorder that is why no it is fast and easy wire installation compared to the to the coaxial cable nga kailangan pa nimo i-connect tag sa tagsa ang inyo ang camera adto sa inyo ang monitor no mo nang siyang mo niya ang isa sa iyang benepisyo no Next, lower labor cost. Since cabling is, is easier and faster, lower labor cost can be charged. Also, the CCTV solution is completed earlier, so, so other costs like traveling expenses and allowances are saved. So, of course, since fast, fast, dali naman siya mahuman, no, compared sa kanang coaxial cable or uban nga cable, so, of course, Barato sad ang imo ang bayad if you are going to to hire a technician, no? To hire a 
a technician to install your CCTV system. No? So, labor clause. Ang dali lang sa mahuman, so dili na kakalingaw pa snacks, no? Kung makakinayuban, maabdan pag isang adlaw, so kalingaw kag pa snacks, so dako na kayo kag mabayad. Snacks pa lang daan. <laughs> Manang, no, it is better to use twisted pair compared to the, uh, to the koan, to the coaxial cable. Less costly <coughs> cabling. So by using twisted pair or hubs, so just like what I said uh, earlier, no hubs, dimension tao hubs ganiha. Several cameras in one location can be combined and video can be transmitted over a single UTP cable. For large installation, this saves a lot of cables since instead of running a coaxial cable for each camera, only a single UTP cable needs to be paid. Out no so just like what I, what I said er, earlier you can connect no you can connect all the the wires from the camera no the UTP UTP wires from the camera to the hub no and the hub will combine the video signals no the wire combined uh, the hub combined the video signals coming from your different cameras and and make it one no make it one and send it to the to the to the video decoder, to your video recorder, and to your monitor as one. No, e, iyan ang grid. No, iyan ang grid. So less cost, costly cab cabling. So mas makabarato ka. No, mas makabarato ka since gamay ra ka og wire nga magamit. No. If here min min maintenance. Using twisted pair transmission reduces the number of cables used and consequently the number of calls that no. To check problems arise. No, since gamay ra po siya og wire, so dali ra siya i-troubleshoot, no? It is easier to troubleshoot kung compared to the other that uses uh, more wires, no? Daghan kayo kag kutikutihon, daghan kag i-check kung wa ba bugto diha nga wire, so daghan kayo. So kani gamay ra imong wire imong magamit, so it is easier to repair. Next slide. So this is an example of kanang UTP connection, no? Straight through and Crossover. So when you're, kanana, you're going to connect, no, kanang computer, to computer, peer to peer, no. If you are going to connect only two, no, only two, two computer, no. Ahon ahon ng class para nang edda, no. Unsa yung unsa pila ng gamit taning taning UTP, no. If you are going to connect, no. If you're you are going to connect two two ah computer, no. You can use the the crossover, no. The the difference between the crossover and the straight through are Alright, it's it's kana na yung kuan, yung wire ano organization of this it's wire no. Kung sa crossover na kabante mo dani yung gi kuan, nakuna ang white orange no, white orange then kuan na pod ang white orange white orange orange white green green ay nga na compared to the street so nga nagamit ka white green green then white orange ay na sa okay. So nung mo na si kung kuan sa and add our uses of UTP. So multiple video signals in same bundle. Twin step, twisted pair hubs combine several cameras and allow transmission over single UTP cable. So bibalik na no? So just like what I said earlier, no, you can combine the signal from the, the different cameras through a hub, no? Dili na ka mag cast o daghang wires, no? Next. So drawback or disadvantages of the UTP or untwist, I unshielded twisted pair. So if we have advantages, so we also have disadvantages in using untwist, unshielded twisted pair. So okay, first is it can be used up to a cable segment length of about 100 meters only. No, so 100 meters only. So mas mas mubo mubo siya compare sa uban ng wires. No, compare sa uban ng Wires, but if you are going to use it more than 100 meters, no, you can use uh, amplifier. You can use amplifier or repeater. So gasto na sad, gasto na sad. Kaya palit tapo kag repeaters. Unable to provide secure transmission of data, no. So just like the just like the coaxial cable, no. The others can also can also steal the data, no, coming from your camera, no. It, the the your data is not. It's not 100% safe if you are going to use this coaxial cable. 
the, the distance between the signal boost is shorter with UTP cable than coaxial cable. So just like what, what I said earlier, no, since it has it has the it can only transmit data for 100 meters only, and if you are going to use longer than 100 meters, then you will need to use uh, amplifiers or repeaters. No, compared to the coaxial cable, which can which can which can send the signal, no, but with with over I with uh, 2,000 feet, no, 2,000 feet katas on, no, compare. So more more is a drawback sa if mo gamit ta UTP cable. So next is the fiber of text, no. So we are done about kanang explaining about the coaxial cable and the unshielded cable. So we are going to discuss the fiber optic cable, no. So so this is an example, no, of fiber optic cables. So look at the picture class, no. So what have you? Ano sa inyo na bantayan, no? Ano sa inyo na bantayan na nagyaya ang picture? Hello, are you still with me? So, sa yung nabantayan sa pagtanaw nyo ng cable, no? O sa ilang kalahian sa tong fiber optic ganiha, ay fiber optic kato na kuan ganiha, kana na kana UTP cable or coaxial, no? O sa yung nabantayan ane? Hello, are you still with me, class? Morag kana ang Ag ganang end sa wire sir kay na imurag plug na plug so unsa pa unsa yung nakita no unsa unsa pa yung nakita compare sa kanan na plug ko answer pareha sila sir na murag na kanang murag kanang dagom bitaw sir unlike sa pareha sa commercial sir kay adto ra majud tong dagom sa para connect din sa TV ja ang Kani kay nai pareha sila sir. Okay, no. So nai ang isa nai dagom, ang isa ay duha ka plug, no. Okay. So if uh, if you observe, no, this the picture, no. We can see that there is a light, no. So there is a light uh, coming from both end to end, no. And the and the cable is made up of uh, plastic, no, plastic or glass, no. So ang kalahian nila dani no is Ang coaxial cable is made up of copper, no, and there is an insulation outside of the copper. However, the fiber optics is made up of a glass or plastic fiber, and the transmission of data is through a uh, light, no. It is not made up of electrical signal. It is made up of a light, no, fiber optics. So this is very common today, no, the fiber optic. It is kanang it is thus the fastest, no, transmission of data through light next slide so fiber optic cable is lightweight and made up of a single span glass or plastic fiber or a group of such fiber in case in a protect protective covering it has a broad bandwidth making making it ideal for carrying video signals no so it has more bandwidth so what is bandwidth unsa maning bandwidth so nganong ay unsa maning bandwidth the bandwidth is the volume of data that it can carry. No, the volume of data that it can carry per unit of time, or it or it is the uh, the unit measure of the bandwidth is the Mbps or megabytes per seconds. No, kana makita niyo sa inyong cellphone if mag internet mo internet mo. So mo na siya bandwidth ang volume ang kada unsa data nga iyang i carry. No, through the through the conductor. No, so it has a it has a broad bandwidth. Taku kayo ang yung dad on. So fiber fiber optic cable can be used in runs up to six miles without amplification. So imagine, no imagine six miles. Arang taas sa kayo, no? Compared to the to the UTP cables, ng 100 meters lang, no? Ang kaning kaning fiber optic cables, no? The fiber optic cables can carry the signals up to six miles without amplification. So wala pagani siya gamit ng kanang repeater, no? Magtaas na kayo iyang madagan. So the video signals coming from the camera must first go through a fiber transmitter which converts electrical signals to light impulses. A fiber receiver at the end is required for conversion back into electrical signals. So how does it work? Now how does the fiber optic work? 
works. So the electrical the electrical signals coming from your camera is then converted. No, it is then converted into a light impulses. No, it is converted al to a light impulses through the the transmitter. No, through a fiber transmitter, and it is then transmitted through the through the plastic fiber nga kaning cable no ang ang light is mudagan through plastic fiber mo reflect na siya mo reflect bisag hayo kayo magbanda-banda ang siga no magbanda-banda ang siga taman mo abot sa pikas end no pikas end sa inyo ang taman sa pikas end which is your monitor or your uh, decoder katong riskuan then a fiber receiver at the end is the other end is required for conversion back into electrical signals. So in abut niya sa, sa receiver no, the light impulses no, the light impulses is then converted back into electrical signals no. It is then converted back back into electrical signals and your and your monitor and your decoder convert it into images or video or signals, no. So that is how the fiber optics works no. Okay, advantages of fiber cable. <laughs> advantages of fiber optic cable. <laughs> Extremely high bandwidth. No other no other cable based data transmission medium offers a bandwidth that fiber does. No, since it is the fastest. No karon na tong gigamit is the fastest no wala wala pay makatupong at kapaspason niya no so the volume of data that fiber optic cables transmit per unit of time is far greater than the copper cables no so unsa ra gitong bandwidth so mo na siya the volume of data that it can carry per unit of time no dako ka siya kayo madala nga kaning data sa electrical signals or mga copper cables nga tong gipanggamit no next Longer distance. In fiber optic transmission, optical cables are capable of providing low power loss, which enable signals can be transmitted to a longer distance than the copper cable. No, so compared to the to the to the copper cable, no, the longer the the wire, the the stronger its resistance. That's why the electrical signal decreases per cable. So compared to the to the fiber optic so it can transmit in a longer distance compared to the to the copper cable so na, so nagya pa siya power loss nga magkataas pero kung magkataas kung magkataas pud ang wires pero compared to the electrical the electrical kana mga electrical wire eh, it is better no it can transmit data over a long longer distance compared to the copper cable Resistance to electromagnetic interference. In practical cable deployment, it is inevitable to meet environments like power substation, heating, ventilating, and other electrical sources of interference. No, since since the fiber, no, since the fiber, the data of the fiber optic cable is made up of electric uh, light impulses. No, it cannot be inter. Uh, it it cannot be in interfered by an electromagnetic interference no since light cannot since light is not a magnetic field no since it, it is not made up of electrical impulses so it can be in field so emi low security risk no so low security ri security risk must stay, ma it is safe to use no it is safer to use compared to the to the kanang kanang wired cable no it is it is easier to you it is safer to use compared to the copper cable because you can connect no you can connect it in a parallel connection no kaning kaning fiber optic cable dili mo magisian para imo ang konekan o kanang wire na pod para ibutang sa laing kuan kanang laing monitor no since it is made up of plastic fiber or kanang light no if you are going to to cut it no it will destroy the 
connection no mabuak na siya mabuak ang kuan kung imong sumpayan so mo nang dili na nun, dili na dili jud ni siya basta-basta basta nga mas still ang data sa imo ang CCTV system no so, so that is why uh, low security risk so it is safer to use Lightweight. So fiber optic cables are made up of glass or plastic and they are thinner than copper cables. This makes them lighter and easy to install. So since it is made up of, of plastic, no? Mas gaan. Mas gaan siya compared sa mga, mga wires, nga mga metals, no? So lightweight. Next. So these advantages. So if we have advantages, we also have these advantages, no? So dili dili lang kay kanang kaayo lang ang mga mga mahatag ng fiber optic, but it it nagyapon niya yung weakness, no? So unsa man? First is the fragility, no? Dali rin siya mapusa. So usually optical fiber cables are made up of glass, no? Which lends to the to the are more fragile than electrical wires, no? So dali siya maguba compare sa mga kuan, so mga copper wire no it can no, it can't easily bend no it cannot easily bend compared to the wires no since it is made up of glass or caning caning plastics no so glass can be affected by various chemicals including hydrogen gas no a problem in underwater cables making them need to more cares when deployed underground underground so in the in the cities or sa in in kanang mga cities no so the fiber optic cables is is in is installed underground no compare sa ato aso kanang sa amo adto sa to sa lasinda or sa alicia no ang mga fiber optic cable ato is gibutang nila sa pusti ilang gipa elevate no ilang gipa elevate pero usually ang kanin yung kaning fiber optic cable is installed underground which is uh, prone to hydrogen gas so mo siya naka advantage ad disadvantage niya kay maapektuhan siya dali sa kaning hydrogen gas no so that is why it needs more cares when deployed underground difficult to install no so it is not easy to splice fiber optic cable if you bend them too much they will break so compared to the so to the wired cable no kaning mga mga pa kan mga coaxial cables no it can it can bend easily but the but the but the fiber optic cables cannot bend easily since it is made up of plastic fiber or kaning glass no so dili siya dali ma bend it will break so that that is why you need more care so when you when you installed using these optical or fiber optic cables attenuation and dispersion so as transmission distance getting longer light will be attenuated and dispersed which which requires an an additional component like the fa to be added so so kumpay parihal gyapon sa mga kanang mga wires nga gigamit nga sa kanang mga fiber optic cables no so as the, the wires is uh, longer and longer no so the the light will disperse no so magkahina siya pero taas siya og madagan compare sa tong nay mga copper wires no compare to the coaxial wires you know even though mawala siya mawala ay ma, mugamay gyapon siya magkataas ang wires pero taas pa kayo ang iyang daganan no compare sa uban coaxial cable nga nga mubo ra no mga mubo ra pero og gusto ka og if you are if you want to kanay if you want your kanin na imong wires nga mo taas pa gyud so you can use EDFA no to to boost the the light no to the light to the light signal cost is higher than copper cable so of course mas mahal siya no it is more expensive compared to your copper cable so your to your coaxial cable no since it can transmit uh, high bandwidth no high bandwidth and and it is made up of fiber no plastic fiber so it is it is more more it is, it is more expensive no compared to the copper cable. so we are done on the wire transmission no so unsa ra ganitong mga mga so unsa ra ganitong mga tungtulo ka wire transmission examples first is Coaxial, ah? Coaxial cable. Yes, coaxial cable. 
UTP, UTP sir. Wireless cable o ganing ko answer. Bob fiber asana ka ste fiber caster. Fiber optic. Yes, no? So coaxial cable, unshielded twisted pair, the fiber optic cable, no? So let's proceed to the wireless transmission. So wireless option for transmitting video can be advantageous due to ease of installation, no? So lack of cabling requirements and assured mobility. Since we are not going to use wired transmission, so of course it is easy to use, easy of easy to install, no? So there are some advantage disadvantages of wireless systems, such as the need for a dedicated frequency to transmit signal, signal interruption, and signal interference so we are going to talk about that later no so there are also increasing concerns over cyber security and the need for information assurance hardening so the first no, first example of world transmission is the laser so what is the laser also many also many lasers may young gamut Okay. In some in some application, it is impractical to install video transmission cables. Like if there is a direct line of sight between the transmitting and the receiving location, laser or IR transmission may be used. No, so you can't use the laser transmission if if there is a wall. No, if there is a building that that can be at the hindrance of the light. No, so if you are going to install the the camera outside and your and your monitor and the receiver is in the inside of the building no so you can't use the laser but if the but if the receiver and the transmitter is uh, doesn't have an an a hindrance no just like the uh, wall no so you can use the laser cables no for example kananay kananay to asa ibabaw ang imo ang kuan imo ang imo ang camera da nasa ubos imo ang ang imo ang receiver da walay walay nag walay kanang wall nga nagatang nila so you can use the laser no since ang 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 iya ang, ang, iya ang siga no gikan sa imong transmitter is direct ay naka direct no nakaatbang sa imo ang receiver if nga na nga yun, so you can use the laser kanang the laser transmission so this is an example no of the laser transmission so as what you have seen on the picture no there is a light coming from the from the camera no uh, this is, the camera is also the i has the transmitter no the transmitter of light and the receiver is from your kanang decoder or your video recorder or to your monitor uh, uh, laser transmission system offer the following features no na siya mga advantages or kanang mga kuan mga features so first is the transmission over distances of 20 meters to 2 kilometers in a clear weather. No, even if it is wireless, no, it can transmit for 20 meters to 2 kilometers. No, so taas taas siya, pero kung first mga wired no, transmission, mas taas gito to mga wired transmission. Pero since it is wireless, no, the 20 meters to 2 kilometers is kaning taas na niya, no, taas na niya. Then in a clear weather, kung walay mga mga the heavy rains no if there are no heavy rains and kanang dense fog kung mga walay mga gabon no kung clear ang weather so you can use the laser because if there is a fog no a dense fog it can interrupt the the video signals of your camera no data speeds from 25 mb to 1.2 gigabytes no since uh, even if it is a uh, it is wireless, no? It can send 25 MB to 1.2 gigabytes. So, kusog kusog yapon siya. Pero compare sa mga compare to the wire wire transmission, just like the optical cable, no? The optical cable it can 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 transmit a higher bandwidth compared to this to the laser, no? In the mounting application that can be placed behind a glass window, no? So, pwede dey yapon na to ni e i kone ay mong i-install no be kanang in you ay through kanang indoor no kung kay since the 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 light from the laser can penetrate to the glass no can penetrate to a glass 
no ground loop lightning and induction issues no since it is made up of light no it can it can be it can be inter interrupted no it can be interfered by an induction issues also oh, many induction issues the electromagnetic interference no katong magnetic field or kaning lightning no kana mga kilat-kilat dili ni uh, it cannot be inter interfered by lightning since it's of light disadvantage no nanaga kun siya disadvantages Lasers should not be placed areas in areas with human activities to prevent possible retinal injuries. No, sa laser, kaning laser is kanang makadaot po ni siya sa kaning mata. So, mo nang, if you are going to use a laser, guys, if you are going to install a CCTV system using uh, lasers, no, you should not put it on the on the on the areas where there are there are many people, no to gathered no there are gatherings of people sir <laughs> so kay mga cause siya ko na kuan retinal injury okay laser transmission is affected by weather a factor that influences the feasible distance between the transmitter and the receiver so just like what i said earlier no so you can uh, the the laser transmission can be can be affected by the dense fog and a heavy rain no so most no more is a young disadvantages no kaning laser since it is made up of light it can be easily blocked no it can easily block by a uh, fog or a heavy rain no line of sight and alignment of the signal is critical so so it is important that the the, the receiver no the receiver and the, the transmitter is aligned with each other no no naka state gud sila dili gud ingon nga ang isa is naka atubang ato sa pikas ang isa naka atubang pod ato sa pikas so dili dili niya ma receive ang light gikan sa sa transmitter so that is why the the alignment of the 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 transmitter and the receiver is critical no so they should be aligned with each other so so the next is uh infrared so unsa man puning infrared no so man manata sa laser unsa man puning infrared infrared transmission so the infrared can be an alternative to the later transmitters no if you if you can afford if you can afford to use the lasers no which is more expensive no which is more expensive compared to the infrared you can use the infrared or the ir led transmitter no it 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 may cost less no the ir led systems may cost less than laser system but they often have shorter transmission distances and lower bandwidth no compared to the laser transmission the infrared can can transmit data over a short distance only and a lower bandwidth even though it may cost less no it is less expensive compared to the laser that that, that is why it is uh, it is said to be an alternative to the laser no to the laser transmission led oh pa LED systems are also more susceptible to reflections when transmitting through glass. IR receivers should not be oriented so that they face the sun, incandescent light bulbs, or other IR light sources. So it is important that your receivers is not no it is not facing to the sun or any IR LED resources because it can interfere. No, it can destroy the data. Uh, that is transmitted by your transmitter no since na nakadap naka siya og laing kananay IR no mga infrared infrared nga light no mo nang dili gyud siya dapat maatubang sa mga light bulb mga 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 IR sources mga sun ayan eh, ano so so mo to so radio frequency no katong gi-mention na to ganiha ng radio frequency interference parihara gyud po ni sila adto so it is made up of a radio wave no it is made up of a radio wave radio frequency or rf is another method of wireless transmission relevant to cctv surveillance 
RF modulation of video signals is used in cable TV systems with ultra high frequency or UHF and very high frequency or VHF band. No, so just like what, what I said earlier, no, so the radio, the radio frequency is the is a kind of wave, no, the radio wave is a kind of wave that's used for uh, by the station, no, mga television station, mga TV station and radio stations, just like uh, mga ABCBN, no, mga KISS FM, sa radio, mga, mga, mga brigada, brigada. One. So, muna siya kasi gipanggamit mga radio frequency, no? So, RF encompasses a broad range of frequency transmission and focus beams which are most efficient in open air line of sight situations. Physical obstructions such as walls or buildings actually <laughs> to degrade an RF video signal. So, that is why sa kanyang ato ang mga television with class, no? So, in our television, they elevate the 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 tuan kanay antena no they elevate the antenna to para dili siya maapektuhan sa mga buildings no to avoid physical ob ob obstruction such, such as walls and buildings no nga maka degrade sa radio frequency since the radio wave cannot penetrate a wall no So, RF CCTV transmission systems can operate over long distances using directional antennas and repeaters. So, kana makaingon ta ngano moabot man ang signal gikan sa Manila no sa kanang mga ABCBN nga makaabot man sa Bohol nga arang hayo ang mga It is because they use repeaters or directional antennas no para mo ito to boost the signal para makaabot sa inyo ang antenna sa antenna sa inyo ang TV no. So, parehara gyapo ni sa kanang nay Ito ang, ito ang CCTV systems, no? So, the electrical signals is converted into radio wave and, uh, and transmit it to, to in open air and your antenna adapt, no? It will capture the radio wave and your electrical will decode it into video and sound. <coughs> and sounds, no? So, RF can transmit approximately two miles with a flat antenna array or up to 7 miles with a directional and the antenna, no? 2 to 7 miles ang iyang katas on. So more than that, you will need to use repeaters, no? RF CTV transmission systems can operate over long distances using directional antennas and repeaters. Ah, mo naman ganyan. So RF systems have limited bandwidth. No, compared to the to the wire transmission, no, to, compared to that wire transmission, which is the fiber optic, no, which is the fastest, no, fastest of them all, no. The the RF systems have a limited bandwidth. So gamay gamay siya compared sa uban, no. So the number of cameras that can be used sim simultaneously is small. So dili ka kagamit using ani sa kanang nadaghan og camera, no. Dili ka gamit. Gamay ra ang camera nga iyang iyang magamit. If several cameras are, trans are transmitting at the same time, the signal should be out of phase with it, uh, each other. And ideally, ad any additional antenna should be facing 90 degrees away from each other. Okay, so next is the microwave. So microwave transmission is wireless, line of sight transmission, with, with many similarities to laser and LED systems. Okay, so are you still with me, class? Hello, are you still listening? Okay, so very good. No? So microwave transmission is a wireless. So kaning sa kaning gigamit po na to sa kaning microwave, no? Kaning mga wave, microwave oven, no? Microwave oven, it is still a microwave, no? So depending on its specific configuration, a microwave system can transmit a video, audio and data. So some factors to consider when exploring microwave transmission are transmission from 100 feet to miles are possible. And longer distance can be achieved with microwave repeaters. No, 100, 100 feet to 20 miles. So, taas taas kayo ning 20 miles, no? Kaning using microwave, no? And longer distance, kung mula pa spog, and 20 miles, you can use a microwave repeaters na, or kanang amplifier or boosters. Microwave transmission tolerates adverse weather and obstructions better than laser transmission, no? So, so the, the microwaves is better. 
than the laser transmission if there are kind of weather obstruction, just like any fogs, mga heavy rains, no? Compared to the laser, it can it can penetrate a, a fog or kaning mga heavy rains, no? So, however, very a uh, very heavy rainfall kung kusog na yung kaayo ang uwan or kaning dense fog karang baga na yung kaayo it can be affected but it is but is but it is still better than laser no <coughs> microbe systems typically are more expensive than LED or laser systems so mas mahal mas siya, no it is more expensive compared to the laser systems Microwaves can pass through a glass, therefore mounting a system, no, and aesthetically placing building exteriors may be placeable. So you can also uh, install it, no, kananay sa kaning kaning ang camera is na sa gawas, no, ag agi mo ang monitor is na sa sod, pero ang ilarang hindrance is kung glass ra na sa bintana is pwede ra nimo na i-install. But if building na kaning wall na is dili na siya pwede since microwave cannot penetrate a wall. So lastly, no, lastly, the IP network transmission. <laughs> okay. So IP-based CCTV systems are designed to provide the ability to monitor, record, and stream video over a network to computers or other equipment. The system can use existing local area networks or LAN. No, I think naka naka ilan naman ni unsa ning LAN or local local area networks kana magduwa mo kana mga computers. No, mga computers magduwa mo mga Dota or mga ML mo mga Dota no using LANs or wide area networks or WANs and wireless LANs or kaning <coughs> wireless local local area network o na isa kaning metropolitan area networks wala gibutang ani no Power over internet technology is also an option within an IP-based systems to increase savings and reliability. POA enables various network devices to receive power and data through one standard cable, which can be a significant cost savings when deciding CCTV systems. No, sa katong ang gayon ng ganihan, no, katong power over internet, katong na availability of power sa katong sa tong ganihan nga tuan kanang to na sa wireless pa no ni ni mention ta ning power over internet na it can, it can provide a supply power supply to the to the to the to the camera without without plugging the camera into a convenience outlet no since the ip network class no i forgot to mention the ip network transmission is either wireless or wire no pwede siya pwede siya wired or wireless no ang kalahian lang nila is <coughs> the ip network transmission uses an internet protocol kanang kamatang 192.168. Nga na, o 8.1 or 255.255. Okay nga, nabita mo rin numbers ba? So muna siya gamit sa IP network transmission. So it is either wired or wireless, no? Kanang IP network transmission. Next. So network cameras and other devices cannot only send audio and video. But can also send other data like text or short messages, service messages to users as well as receive audio and data, which can active, activate alarms to users as well as receive audio uh, door entries and external alarms. So it can also uh, send text messages class, no? And can ko an can ang SMS, no? Which can can ang activate alarms, no? Kung may mga alarms kayo yung ipamutang, yung ipang install sa inyo ang camera, no? So in addition, IPB systems have the ability to interface with and communicate with multiple par parallel applications. So, pwede siya mo connect-connectan o mga o uban nga mga connections. Just like mga switchers, imo i-connect, imo mga fire alarms, imo i-connect, o sa panag-uban nga alarms, imo i-connect, pwede na siya, no? Since the IP network, network transmission is kaling digital, no? Digital. Or high pitch na siya, high pitch, no? So benefits of using IP-based system. So unsa may benepisyo og mugamit ta og IP-based system? High image quality, no? So the quality of the image, no, in your monitor is high, no? Dili siya hanap. Future integration with digital technologies, no? Since it since it since it is a uh, digital, no? So the IP transmission is digital, 
So it, it it can be integrated, no? It can be integrated with a future future technology. So maka makompatible yah pun siya, no? Compatible siya with the with the future technologies. Cost effective transmission and okay, okay. So IP based system components. So there are components that need to be need to be compatible with your IP based system. No, if you are going to install IP based CCTV systems, no transmission, then your 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 components, no, kana uban ng mga components sa imo sa CCTV system should be compatible, no, sa IP kana digital. So these are the components that are that are compatible, no, with the IP based. CCTV camera. First is the camera. So, so both IP network cameras and analog cameras can be used in an IP-based systems. No, according here, no. So the types of camera, either it is analog camera or IP-based camera systems or digital camera, is I are both compatible. No, so unsar ang analog camera? The 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 data that is captured by your camera is converted into electrical signals, no? So, ang kalahayan nila is the, the digital camera or the IP-based system camera is the data, no, captured by your camera is converted into a uh, binary form or katong gitawag na ito, katong ay 0, 1, 0, 0, no, sa computer. So, muna siya gitawag o kaning binary or kaning digital camera, no? So, both are, <coughs> both are compact. Okay, video encoder. When using analog cameras, a video encoder or video server needs to be connected to the analog cameras to convert the video from analog into a digital. No, so if you are going to use to use to use the IP based systems and you are using analog cameras, you should use a video encoders. No. Para ang inyo ang ang analog analog data from your analog cameras is converted into a digital no into a digital or binary form para makadap siya sa IP based system because if you don't use video encoders no and you are using analog cameras the analog cameras cannot be is not compatible to the IP based system so that is why it will it will run through the video encoders no. So the analog cameras is connected to the video encoders before transmitting using IPB system. No, since video encoders convert analog into digital signal. Okay, network switches. Switches allow CCTV devices to communicate with each other and share information. So, kung mga switchers o mga multiplexers, mayroon siya mga network switches. No, it can share information no and communicate with each other so pasunan na to gamay no timurag na hurut na tong time okay networks and networks can be small or extensive wide or wireless or a combination thereof the most common approach taken by organizations is to use lans or one so kanang local area networks or wide area networks mo na si kasagari gipanggamit network bandwidth capacity can be increased by adding switches and routers Wireless networks are a good option when traditional wired networks are difficult to install. So if you are, if you want your bandwidth to increase, no. So if you want your network bandwidth or katung para mas mapus mas mapas pas ang imo ang data, you can use a router, no router or kanang by or adding switches. You can add switches, no. Power over Ethernet. So ato na nagi mention ganiha. POE is an option for using a wired network to distribute both data and power. So no need na kamo saksak sa imo ang camera to the wire to the convenience outlet because the the Ethernet can provide up either data and power. <coughs> Mobile devices, IP-based systems can be easily configured to facilitate access to video via internet from smartphone, smartphones, laptops, and other mobile devices. So you can use uh, mobile devices, no, the, 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 the data from your camera 
can be transmitted to your phone no using the ip network so katong mo, mo log in ka diha sa kaning google no na i1 na yun na say na si kagalingong ip address na mga 192.168 nga nabitaw uh, .0.0 unsa pa na dihang mga number and ambira no so you can connect your 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 mobile your mobile phone or laptops wirelessly no through the ip network transmission okay so thank you class thank you for uh, listening no so uh, uh, do you have any questions suggestions or clarifications hello na mo mga pangutana about sa ato ang leksyon karon then so far sir okay okay so so unsa ra ganitong tulo ka so unsa ra ganitong tulo ka transmission types types of transmission systems first is the first is katong na wire na wire wire transmission second is hello wireless transmission sir wire transmission and the third is IP and the third is transmission ip network yeah. transmission Yes, the IP network transmission. So, so what are the examples of the wire transmission? No, that are most commonly used today. First is the coaxial cable. Coaxial cable. Yeah, coaxial. UTP. UTP, sir. Then fiber, fiber optic, optic, sir. sir. Yes, fiber optic, the coaxial cable, and the UTP cable. So how how about in the wireless wire, wireless transmission? First is the laser. Oh, laser, laser infrared. Laser, sir. Infrared. Infrared of metal. Microwave. Mm, yes. Microwave, sir. Laser, infrared, and microwave. Okay, so thank you, class. So next slide so for your activity no so find at least two different cables used in cctv transmission system in your area no take a picture and label it so mag mangitara mo kuan for example itong coaxial cable one example na to no so in your picture and then then i butang niyo sa uh, word no then i label label kung unsa na siya nga klase nga, nga cable no whether, whether whether it is coaxial or kana utp ba na no o nga na then i-send ninyo, uh, i-PM lang gihapon, no? I-PM lang gihapon. So, assignment, no? Research in advance about the different types of video storage used in CCTV system, no? So, researching. Mag-research lang mo, then i-document gihapon, then i-send lang gihapon ako. I-PM lang gihapon ako. Okay, so, na yung mga pangutana? Nanso so far, sir. Nanso so far, sir. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so thank you for listening, class. Okay, may I ask uh, Mr. Aramis to lead the opening prayer? Okay, sir. In the Father, Son, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now in God, get amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you, class, for listening. So, God bless and goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless. Sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir.